If you're watching this, it means that my internet connection was unstable and I'm unable to give this live. But know that I'm extremely happy that I'm here with you in spirit. I could probably go on for an obnoxious amount of time about how Williamsburg is the absolute best high school any student could attend in the history of the world ever. But I will have to report it to my excessive use of hyperbole support group, so I will settle on telling you that I look back on my time here at Williamsburg often and always with immense gratitude. It was a defining part of my life, and the lessons I learned have woven their way into my very nature. This also may sound like hyperbole, but I assure you it is the straight truth. The mentors, the many books, the colloquiums, the papers, the presentations, the friends and the classmates, really everything, somehow all work together to create an experience that I really did not think can be replicated. I spent a great deal of time trying to pinpoint the real defining factor that makes Williamsburg so different from everything else, which is difficult because Williamsburg and all it entails taught me an overwhelmingly high number of lessons both during and after high school. That being said, I think I have been able to identify the prime lesson I learned while here at Williamsburg. I learned how to serve and I learned that I am capable of serving. I am not just referring to the leadership class projects we all had to do, though those provided me with a great skill and lessons learned. I am referring to the very nature of the content studied, how it was studied, and how it was applied to daily life. I could explain that Williamsburg taught you how to serve because it taught you how to work hard, because your education demanded you to do so. I could say it taught you how to serve because you learned how to communicate effectively, thanks to long distance, everything and anything. I could say that it taught you how to work with people from all varieties of backgrounds, and I could say it taught you how to keep commitments. All of these things are good and true and valuable lessons you learned from Williamsburg. However, I do not think that any of them are the key function that will prepare you to serve this beautiful, growing world we live in. What you studied here at Williamsburg was unique, especially for a high school. Instead of studying geometry from a textbook, you went straight to the original source and studied Euclid. You were not taught to blindly accept that if A plus B equals C, then A plus C must therefore equal B plus C. You used logic and an absurd amount of hours if you had as difficult time as I did, to learn the logic behind it all and to prove it both to yourself and to your mentor. You were required to go to the original sources and learn how the great scholars past and present thought and came to their conclusions. Williamsburg did not ask you to read a summary of Plato's philosophy. You read Plato and wrote your own summaries. The education you received at Williamsburg did not tell you that mankind came from point A to point B. You were taught to discover the how and the why and you learned how to become a, a part of that great conversation. What I am so long-windedly getting at is the content you have studied and the classes facilitated at Williamsburg have taught you how to think, not what to think. It did not teach you to be a passive member of society. It taught you to, like the great characters of history, actively be part of things, not blindly accept them as they are. You were prepared to not only observe what is going on, but you will be a part of what happens in this world because you are prepared to analyze and actively seek out what requires your service. I mentioned that along with teaching you how to serve, Williamsburg also teaches you that you are capable of serving. I mean this in the purest sense of the word capable. Capable means having the ability or quality necessary to do or achieve a specified thing. Williamsburg is not an easy path. To put it short, it is very difficult but it is supposed to be. It is designed to push you so you really come to understand not only the material and concepts, but more importantly, your own capability. As you have found during your time at Williamsburg, your capability can grow enormously. If you think back to the first few weeks of high school or even your first few weeks of the semester, it was hard and I am sure you were stressed and felt overwhelmed at some points as you realized that you had an insane amount of homework to do, which you did. You may have even felt that you did not have the ability to finish the assignments or test at some points. However, as you stretched and continued forward with pure grit, your ability slowly increased to the point where you had the capability to complete the classes that you, have, that you at first thought so extremely difficult. I know this because you are here at graduation. What I'm getting at is that through your vigorous high school education, you have learned that you were 
capable of serving because you have come to know that as you push forward, your ability increases to the point where you have the capability to accomplish what you need to. In short, you know that you are capable of serving because through your time at Williamsburg, you have learned that you can do hard things. I share these, things, I share these two things with you because I want you to be aware that you are special. I come in contact with far too many people who lack the skills required to really serve the world around them. They lack the capability to notice the real root of the problems, and if they do, they do not understand that they have the capability to do something about it. You have both, so go serve. Congratulations, class of 2015, and welcome to being a Williamsburg Academy alumni.